Coming up in this video, I'm going to compare the sound quality of five different microphones, ranging from $37 to $300 brand new. And as a bonus, I thought it'd be interesting to add an iPhone 11 to the mix to see how today's phone microphone technology compares to dedicated hardware. Cue the cool intro. Before we get into microphone madness, my name's Daryl Hamill with Hamill Media, a values-based organization that translates astounding ideas into meaningful communication. Cool company plug. Back in 2016, I was getting ready to purchase my first dedicated microphone and I had no idea what to buy. I mean, forget about brand, I didn't even know which type to buy. Was the microphone on my camera good enough? My phone? Did I have to use a mic that attached to my clothes? What's a shotgun? And how do you even pronounce car droid? Not only did I need a microphone to up my game, I was also just plain curious what was the sound difference between all these different mics and how much better or worse they sounded depending on price. Well, that's why I decided to make a video last year in 2018 comparing different types of microphones, which I'll link to in the description and in this video somewhere. And since last year, I've gotten the chance to use a wider range and purchase more mics. So I thought it'd be a good idea to produce an updated video and compare the different mics I've purchased throughout the years, from a $37 lavalier mic to a Zoom H1 handheld recorder, all the way up to a $300 studio grade microphone. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to read a few phrases and record with all the microphones at one time. Afterward, we'll replay that portion of the video but with output from a different microphone each time until we've gone through them all. Now keep in mind, this isn't scientific or mixed to absolute precision. This is for fun and I'll do my best to keep everything consistent other than the microphone itself. All right, let's get down to it. Here are the contestants. Contestant number one. We have an omnidirectional lavalier by Comica coming in at $37. Contestant number two, we have Rhodes Video Mic Go Shotgun Mic coming in at $65. Contestant number three, we have the Zoom H1 Portable Digital Recorder coming in at $110. Windscreen. Contestant number four, we have Sennheiser's own ME22 Wireless Lavalier, which I've been using this entire video. That comes in at $130 just for the mic or $350 for the entire wireless system, which goes to a pack and plugs right into the camera. Contestant number five, we have the ElectroVoice RE320 studio microphone coming in at a whopping $300. And I do mean this is whopping. This thing is heavy. Yeah. And contestant number six, as a bonus, the iPhone 11 coming in at $700. While the most expensive out of the bunch, keep in mind that a phone and a computer come bundled in this package. So, and technically this is the pro version, but there's no difference in the mics and the iPhone 11 um, lineup. So it'll work just the same. Okay, now that we've met all the contestants, let's put them to work. Okay, all the levels are sounding good. We have everything recording and I think we're ready. But there is one thing I want to mention and that was regarding the iPhone. I'm using Filmic Pro on the iPhone 11 because I can select which microphone I wanna use as well as camera. So I have the front facing camera going right here, but I also have the front facing microphone working. Having said that, let's get ready, let's Make sure everything is in position one final time. And let's go through with our phrases. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, 
Where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now that I've had a chance to compare how each mic sounded, I'd like to close out with some final thoughts. Before that though, a couple things. Amazon affiliated links to the different mics will be listed in the description. And after my final thoughts is additional footage of me testing out two more tongue twisting phrases and I'll just run them one after the other, listing the mic being outputted. All right, on to my thoughts. No surprises here. Electro Voices RE320 is the best sounding mic of the group. As it should be at $300 and I bought it specifically for my show, Stop Hamel Time. This isn't a mic that can connect directly to a smartphone or most cameras because it does require XLR connectors. While many people use Rode's Pro, uh, Procaster line or Shure's SM7B, I personally prefer the RE320 because I think it sounds amazing right out of the box. I even prefer the RE320 to EV's legendary RE20. I'm not going to spend much time on the worst performer of the group, which is the Comica Lavalier. It's serviceable and better than your standard on-camera mic. Sennheiser's ME2 is a little disappointing for me considering its price. While it blows the Comica Lavalier away in terms of quality and sensitivity, it should given its cost of more than $90 for the Sennheiser. But I've heard better lavalier mics for less money than the ME2 too. The Zoom H1 is a solid purchase because not only can it be used handheld, but it has a 3.5 millimeter input and a 3.5 millimeter output for monitoring. The onboard mic is extremely sensitive to moving air like bees and peas and especially wind, which will kill your audio unless you use some kind of windscreen. I'm using the foam attachment that came with my Zoom H6. Also, there's a newer model, the H1 End, and since it's come down in price, I recommend getting it over this older model. The iPhone 11 microphone surprisingly is decent and has progressed a long way since previous models. I wouldn't use this onboard mic for commercial work, but for a vlog or podcast, if it's all you had, it's a great start. And finally, the Dark Horse. Rhodes Video Mic Go. I have such mixed feelings about this mic because it has great positives that make it amazing, but it has horrible negatives that just ruin it. For the price, no other mic in this lineup can beat its quality to price ratio, nothing. At the same time, this mic is plagued with noise and interference issues because Rode didn't properly shield it. Rode quickly came up with a different model altogether, the Video Micro. But bottom line, regardless of any opinion, the Video Micro does not sound as good as the Video Mic Go. So we're left with this mic that sounds amazing for the price, but is so damn inconsistent that you're literally taking a risk whether or not you'll have usable audio, if not in a controlled environment. So those are my thoughts regarding this comparison. Feel free to leave your thoughts or any questions in the comments below. And remember, all mics used are linked in the description and immediately following this are more comparisons using two different phrases. Thank you all for watching and check out my show, Stop Hamel Time, for conversations with interesting people. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? 
How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he?